Welcome back to some Goodbye Volcano High. I'm Dear Darling, and we only have so much time on this world together. Let's make the most of it. Where? I don't know. Stuff is blooming? It's thriving! Ooh! Nope, not a giant space rock. Yeah, but what is the it? The plants are blooming, I so Rosa's part species. of the gardening. You, what? The Rosa fern. No. Ferntasma! That's no. crazy! Fern enough! Okay. Sick fern, dude! Um. Uh... Fern notice. Fern notice. I like that one best. <laughs> Ooh, fern notice. Fernando? Fernando? Yes! <laughs> Living fern! Mm, Copernicus. Phenomenon. Oh, I actually quite like phenomenon. Weird fern. <laughs> what? I know. It's not for looks, but just show colleges that I know about grafting and interspecies selective cell regeneration. I mean, creating a whole new species. About this because I was is that like a common thing to do? See, this part down here is the rootstock, and this is the scion. What is this? This particular rootstock is famously <laughs> resistant to velvet worms who will, ordinarily, eat the shit out of almost any plant like the adorable monsters they are. So, take that rootstock and add a vulnerable to scion and boom! This is like an infographic well, thing. leaves, baby! Right, nice. I'm sure that's exactly how it works out. Cool, weird but cool. Mango fan? Trish, is, this was your idea? Cool, weird but cool. We're supportive, we're supportive, you wow. know? Wow, I had no idea about, like, any of that. I'm, I'm, I'm playing fine with the, the wisdoms of, of the uh, years I have on them. I'm really excited them. for Battle of the Bands. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Thanks, Rosa. Thanks, me too. Yeah? Just, just keep it, play it cool. Me too, and LNL tonight, right? Tonight? What are we gonna do about Kef? Who's Kef? I guess I'll just have to marry him. Oh, the evil person. Yeah. We let go. Mm. Officiating an LNL wedding would be cool. Mm. But Kef would still totally kill you. <gasps> My guitar. Oh, I left it in the music room. I'm a drums. See you tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. Bye. Can we pick that a song? Like on freaking me out. group chat or something? Or like, can I pick a song and you two just trust my decision? I know I'm biased, but you're my favorite band in the battle. Like hands down. Oh, Rosa. Oh, quick. One on one Rosa. Now we just that's need Stella. Um, <laughs> that's really cool of you to say. I know things Unless it is Stella who is the anonymous today. person, you know? You've got something really special. Then it's like we had one on ones with yeah. all the characters, I think. And your plant is a crime against nature. No, it's actually really cool. Like, if that's it right there, that looks awesome. No. No. It's like a. No. <laughs> like, it, it's this thing, right? It's impressive. It's pretty awesome. I mean, you can do I mean that. that seems like something I'd say. Bright future, big dreams, everything Roberts is always talking about. Yeah, you know? You know How's the school bell ringing? Here. Isn't it like oh. five o'clock or something? Are you. I think Coach Connor actually appreciates it when I skip PE. Like, you looked at your phone, yeah, it was 4pm, wasn't it? Am I losing my yeah. mind? Isn't school well over? <laughs> what time does school finish in America? <laughs> or did I, did I remember the time wrong? Maybe it was like 2 or something. Um, hold on. What do we got? we got? We got a photo. Cute. She's pretty cool, actually. She is pretty cool. Oh, more than I want, I don't know. I didn't expect hey, that to be another session. What did I miss? Of like things. Oh no. Can I talk to you for a sec? Are you okay? So, remember that entomology program I was talking about? Yeah. That's it. That's my plan. I mean, I know, I just did tendrils and just got mango, but I've been thinking about how we tendrils? were always kind of into worms and stuff, even as kids. That's the way I had worm We had that comic, from. we named our band Worm Drama, all those weird costumes. <laughs> My mom still isn't over the dress incident. This is where she's so telling us that she's it. leaving the band, but after Caldera anyway, Fest or something. I think this is what I want to do. Bugs and worms. But like, for a job. Fair enough. Forever. You should. You you <sighs> clearly have a passion for it. Say it out loud. So, like, what do you think? Go for it. I'm happy for you. Who cares about the band? Look, we're gonna... Fine, you're um, gonna join another yeah, band or you're yeah, gonna go solo. You seem okay. Really happy about it, so that's <laughs> I'm I have to break the hard cold hard truth. I can totally you know? see it was a bug doctor or whatever. Yeah. Bugologist. Anyway, you know how Rosa made that whole plant thing for college applications? You're gonna make a bug? Turns out you pretty much have to do something big like that to even get noticed by most schools. I think that's fair. I'm working on this way to restore velvet worm habitats by turning Wait, trash is that fair? into food Nothing for them, about but that. that's it's pretty, take a lot of hours that's pretty huge. 
and about a dozen different types of compost heaps to check all the variables and allow time for propagation. I, th I don't think I would be able to do this back in, well, maybe I could in high school, but I, I don't know how to think it. I need think about it. a break from the band. I don't know if I would while. be able to like conceive of how to do this be my last show. in high school. Shocking, but well, I mean, shocking for it's Fang, but I need, I can't believe this. How can you do this now? I, no, I can believe this. Um, just, just, just give me a minute. <laughs> you will not. What? That is mine. Maybe we can share him. You guys, he's <laughs> evil. Adventurers, this way, this Yo, way. Yeah, we're kind of having like a really important so just done? life conversation like For this. Now. Like we, we knew what we were coming. For now. I just want to focus on my future. I think. Well, what about our future? Ah, uh, oi. Ollie. Sage, ready to read the room. Hell yes, I'm ready to kick some. Can we have this personal what? conversation first? Okay, we'll have it afterwards. I mean, I know Fang's broken up about it, but th this was hey. inevitable. You ready? Join us, Dark One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's play. Now here's a question: Is it actually an Ella now sec section, or is it gonna like skip over it? It must skip over it. It's awkward, but you know, I, I, I think we all saw this coming. <laughs> let's, let's be real. It's not something that can last hey, forever. Have their snacks all set up. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Oh wow, actually, is another uh, previously session. That's crazy. on L &L, The party decided to search the Library of Ages for information that would aid them in their fight against the cult of Braxis and their disarmingly handsome leader. Keth. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember this. I do not remember what voices I gave everyone, though. Oh, is that, is, didn't you have like an airy, breathy voice or something? Oh, I'm getting flushed just hearing his name. You something all like came across the Eternal Nautilus. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot remember what voice I gave you, Jeff. I'm a boy, Nolly. Something like that. And after some, some trial and too. error, you were able to gain entry to the Library of Ages. I remember... Yeah, Ollie had like a, <laughs> I tried to give like a New York accent, but I don't know. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. Oof. Don't remind me. Inside, <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> you battled a magical book. A magical Jeff babbling book. found the Necronomicon. Necronomicon. And with the help of Dewey, you uncovered the locations of the Blightbane Axe and the temple in the Ocean of Sand. Sure. I don't really remember, to be honest. That was so fun. I love it when we work together on, together on things, Trish. Laying it on thick. And not to mention, I finally got the recipe for Chorlax Chewy Chocolates. Back on the ship, though, you ran into Kef and were able to best him. But he managed to escape in fantastic fashion before you could land the killing blow. We spared him a mercy. <laughs> yeah, we have a choice to make, friends. You can go to the Ocean of Sand to seek the temple and Braxis's true name, or you can brave a misty mangroves of Blight Pain Axe. <laughs> I got. I got to do the law option. Yeah, big decision. Both options sound equally unpleasant. Take a moment to think it over. Reminds us of unspeakable horrors. R uh, remind us of the unspeakable horrors you mentioned in the group chat, Celeste. <laughs> the ocean or sun is incredibly vast. You risk losing both your way and your mind. But the misty mangroves aren't any better. Not with those monsters driven mad from blight. Well, of the two incredibly dangerous options, I'm leaning Temple, because the Ocean of the Sand is the ancient homeland of my people. You don't want to go visit your people, I guess? Also, I think learning the true name of Braxis will be really powerful. Oh, okay, wait, the Temple's in the Ocean of Sand, right, gotcha. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling too. I'm getting a real Jeff Levels Up vibe from the Temple. You're not doing milestone leveling, you all level up together. And prefer pe um, people prefer to hide loot in the sand over swamp. Swamp trees. It's just physics. I will say, but there should be a little bit more space between this. I keep thinking that this is like the next letter on from a word. <laughs> it's like tripping me up. It's so dumb, but I am getting tripped up over it. Hey, hey, but let's not forget the blight bane is the only loot that we really know. It's gonna help us in a fight. Yeah, I'm feeling the swamp trees. I have a note from last session that says sexy swamp busts, I think. So we should take a hint from my past self. My notes from last session just say, make sure to get there, and then it stops. And a page full of the word gold. This is also why I read off Linnea's notes. 
and that is why I color code them. Oh no, it's a sexy swamp beast. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, swamp bass make sense too. We all know how vine mages like love to commune with nature, Maya. Didn't they invent skinny dipping in this world? What? Okay, let's choose. Temple, true name, it'll be a cakewalk. Just think of what we could do with Bright Bane, right guys? You've been <laughs> quiet, Faye. Just think what we could do with Just think what we could do with Just think what we could do with Bright Bane, right guys? Right guys. I, I can't do this accent. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> temple Let's go to a temple. You have backstory stuff there, right, Linne? Linne? L is it Linne? Linne? Let's put those colour coded notes to work. Oh, yay. Awesome. I don't know what true name's going to do, but if it's anything like the Skullduggery Pleasant series, it'll be important. Uh, to the temple, then. To the mystery of the ocean sand awaits. Is there anything we should do? Uh, no, is there anything we should be on the lookout for? Oh, yes. Beware the currents of the sand, the twist, the sweltering sun, and the misbegotten whisper of the wind. And also, make sure you don't walk in regular patterns to disturb the sandworms. Linne, what does that mean? Oh, he's whispering. No idea, but I'm writing it down. <laughs> What's the start of that? The vagrant heads out music to the ocean immediately sand stops. in search of the lost temple. The trek will be long Question, and why do we have to trek instead of fly? Can we not see it from above? Oh, this could be the spot. Disembark and find the entrance. We have no time to lose. How do we know? Okay, let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. <laughs> hey, I don't know, Lenny. No, it's fine. I have my packs of the ancestors. I'll be totally fine if I get into trouble. I really don't think we should split the party. I'm kind of here with Ollie on this one. Lenny will be fine. Um, Mum and Dad are fighting. I'm going to start looking around. Me too. It's just a rational choice, you guys. Okay. Jeff and Linnea begin exploring. Linnea, okay. Hey, Linnea. Linnea. With your excellent search skill, you notice a small glow coming off a rock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that's a reference no one's going to get. Um, is there anything around the rock? Or just a bunch of sand. Okay. I run over. Oh, no. It's there trapped. are some small runes giving off this glow. Oh. Can I read them? They're quite small. Do I have a magnifying glass? I get closer. I get closer. How hard are you focusing on them? Quick roll a wisdom saving throw. Very hard. I'm focusing very hard on them. And what languages do you know? I know Elvin, Elemental, Dark Ancient, Dark Ancient, Lizard Folk, Mushroom Folk, Slug Folk, Demonic, Angelic, Purgatorial. Are you a knowledge cleric? Lower, Upper, and Middle Dwarvish. That's very funny. And also, Pangean Sign Language. Yeah, you can't read it. I can also read any written writing. I have a feat for that. <sighs> Fine, you can read it. But, I mean, come on. That's kind of like what her character builds for. What else would it be for? You know, voice. What does it say? Alexander. That's wrong. What does it say? Oh. <gasps> What's wrong? Point, you're about waist deep. I for help. Help. Everyone rushes over. I thought we split the party. Hey, I thought you said you'd be totally fine. She can handle herself. Um, well, actually. Is she still sinking, you two? We gotta help Linnea. I could just cast a vine spell and drag her out. I love how airheaded um, Maya looks. Oh, uh, maybe? No. And for goodness sake, I cast Ocean's Breath on myself and just let myself sink until they're done. All right. You're able to breathe just fine. And you continue sinking. Then your sinking turns You're going into to the temple. Fog. As you drop down, you land on a platform. The roiling quicksand above you is a lit swirling gold. In front of you, you see a set of doors. Whoa. One of the doors always tells the truth and one of them always lies. The temple. Yes. Bit of a dissex machina, I would say, but you know, it gets the plot moving. 
Oh, I jump in after her and hold my breath. And me too. I push Ollie into the quick set and jump in. Hey! <laughs> the ceiling Ooh, of pretty. the temple is made of glowing sand, which casts golden light over everything. A large Makes spiral sense. stairway leads down, the sandy steps sparkling and glittering. Set into the wall on the way down are these massive reliefs, murals made of glowing sand. So it seems everything here is made of glowing sand. It is a sand castle. I look at the murals. The murals are inlaid with the lightning-touched glass that reflects and changes color. Oh. Each mural depicts a figure. The us? One figure is clad in Sorry, dark robes, and their <laughs> hands come together at their stomach, holding a crystal ball. That's the best. Another figure stands tall, their arms outstretched. A spear laid across their palms held upwards to the heaven. A spear laid across their palms held upwards to... Oh, okay. I see. I, I could not imagine the a The final figure sits cross-legged, and above their head, a pale sword hangs, defying gravity, pointing down ah, at their skull. King Damocles. Wait, what? As you pass through the threshold, you enter Is a this large like a different open statue? space. The room itself looks to be two stories tall, with four columns distributed around the space. The perimeter of it's the hall with is a high five. of slowly hey. shifting sand. I love the idea of the walls and the ceilings being shifting sand. Very That's very stale. cool. stale. It's quiet, save for the gentle whoosh of the sand cascading whoosh. down the walls. In the center of the room, there's a large altar made of the same glowing translucent glass as you saw in the mirror. I guess glass makes sense, right? Glass made from sand and all that. Anything on the altar? As you draw closer, you see... Uh, let me just find what I wrote. This feels like a very important thing, which you would probably have known off the top of your head, is my guess. Here it is. The oh, altar never mind. Is, a massive is this not the altar in front of us? Of Do we not see this has a random skeleton on top of it? <laughs> but the surface is polished, so it's almost a mirror. Cool. That's got symbols on it as well. On each of three sides is an intricately carved image, and lying on top, is an ancient skeleton wearing a gleaming set of polished plate armor. With a most strange pose to find any one of the know, skeleton's ancient arms skeleton is outstretched toward the ceiling. In the other is a large sword. There are scorch marks under the skeleton. Burned in place, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> no, no skeletons. They give me the spooks. Skeletons. The things that we all have inside us. <laughs> Ew. Don't remind me. That's disgusting. What do the images look like? On one of the sides, there is an image of a skull. And On another, see. there is a pictograph of a winged animal. On the third, there is an image of a hand. Ooh, puzzle. Mm. Do you think the arms are lever? Lever? Shall I go up there and yank it? I think you're going to get burnt if you do that. Is there anything special about the sand around the edge? Do you place your hand in the sand? Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know. Do I? Do you? Why are you saying it like that? I'm going to run back to the middle of a room. I'm going to run back to the middle of a room. What do we do? Investigate the arm. Investigate the scorch marks. Investigate the sand. Let's uh, investigate the scorch marks. Let's take a look at these scorch marks. It's a thing which people, well, no one's talked about yet. I've got it. <laughs> Sorry, I've got it. I figured out the puzzle. You have? Yes. So in this edition of LNL, the hand is a symbol of Tyron, the god of rebirth, renewal, and self-esteem. The winged animal is a phoenix, which is why there are scorch marks, and the skeleton is the key. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's amazing. It's just paying attention. You know, if you are a knowledge, a knowledge domain cleric, I think that's a very good fit for you, um, Naomi. I cast Rebirth on a Skeleton. Oh, okay. Wow. What if we didn't have a cleric in our party? <laughs> wow. That's your highest level spell. Are you sure? Okay, so though, if we're going by D&D &D 5e rules, um, Rebirth is probably the same as... um. Well, actually, hold on. Wait a second. I was going to say it's the same as Revivify. It can't be Revivify. The skeleton's probably been dead for way more than like a minute. So it has to be, doesn't it have to be greater resurrection? Or just normal resurrection? I can't remember. 
what it is. That's like a level seven spell, isn't it? Y'all are like real high level. Yes, it's obvious. I cast a spell. And I suppose we'll leave it on this cliffhanger and see what happens next time. Because we reached 20 minutes and this is not a good stopping point, I think. And I think it will keep going on for a bit. So, for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. Ow, I just punched my light. Um, this has been Goodbye Volcano High and I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Socials down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.